thought I was done crying when I picked up the camera and now I feel like coming back. Just gonna talk and see what happens because this has just been a wild past couple hours. I am 36 weeks and four days pregnant. There is a sweet baby girl in here. And um, my C-section was originally scheduled for 39 weeks, which was gonna be April 11th. Today is March 25th, and I just found out that it is gonna be moved up to 72 hours from now. So the past couple hours have been a whirlwind of like emotions of worrying if baby's okay and stress of like trying to figure out logistically what this means for like making sure that we have care in place for Grace because my parents were gonna watch her while I was giving birth and they are in Sedona on a trip, which they are now leaving early from and heading back. Also like random work stuff that I thought I had a little bit more time to figure out. And <sighs> mentally, I, I knew that the baby could come at any time, but I also wasn't really expecting it to be this soon. I guess to back up a little bit, last week, right before my 36 week appointment, I started feeling like really itchy and like a different itchy than like my skin is is stretching and the baby's growing. It was just this really uncomfortable itchiness all over my body, especially on my hands and feet. So I brought it up at my appointment and they immediately wanted me to go for testing for coleostasis. Coleostasis of pregnancy is from my uh, crash course on it in the past couple days, like a, a liver issue. It causes a buildup of bile in your blood, which causes that itchiness. And it can also be really harmful for the baby in certain cases. And it can also increase the risk of stillbirth. So if you have coleostasis, you know, there are things that they can try to do to manage it with medication. But usually the recommendation is to deliver at uh, 37 weeks. So uh, in case it wasn't obvious, I have coleostasis. Got that testing done on Thursday. They sent me right from my appointment to go get blood work done. And then over the weekend, those results came up on like my patient portal. And I didn't really know what I was looking at because I hadn't gotten like the doctor confirmation saying, you know, hey, this came back positive. But from Steven and I Googling like, okay, here are the levels. This is what they're looking for. We pretty much inferred that I probably have coleostasis. And I, I started really getting nervous about it pretty much right then, but I was like, you know what? I, I have to wait until I hear from my doctor, which probably won't be till Monday. Let's just try to, you know, have a good weekend and also get like all the last remaining baby prep done that we were gonna be doing. Hello. Hello, sweet wife. Hi. Where, where are we at in this moment? Um, I've just been rambling, but I was talking about how we got a lot of baby Are you prep. talking about what's going on? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. I don't think I could talk about anything else right now. Why is this you me? <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. Mm -hmm. I'm scared yeah. for the baby. They're gonna get a look at baby today. Yeah, I'm going in in like an hour for um, the non-stress testing. Yeah. Like I think right now, like you're good. Like baby's good, you're, you'll get monitored. And I bet they'll probably do another monitoring before delivery. Yeah, they said they wanna do one on Wednesday too. Yeah, so I feel like all is well there. This is a preemptive thing to like jump the gun and don't even let anything be questioned. Logistically, this will be a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> But we have a huge village of people we can lean on. Yeah. Like, in so many layers that, like, we can figure it out. But that means today I should finish putting together the car seat. <laughs> <laughs> and finish doing the bassinet. And you thought you were going to have two more weeks till your paternity leave started. Well, yeah, I mean, work-wise, both of us are like, ooh, this next two weeks was going to be a crazy pinch of like, okay, now we can go. And now it's like, oh, we don't get to do any of that. So, um, like, I'm going to be thinking processing this in a week with a baby in my hands. I mean like what just happened? And I think we'll have a little stressful couple hours today and then we can kind of chill out, you know, enjoy the last few days and keep making sure baby girl's good. Yeah? Yeah. I love you girl. Love you. <laughs> Steven came and found me at a Taco Bell parking lot during all of this, which is the only thing that makes me laugh right now. Yeah, because well, Sierra went to go to lunch, and then I get a call of her crying, like, they just said we need to have the C-section this week. And we hung up, and I was like, yeah, Sierra's crying in a parking lot somewhere. I should go find her. I was <laughs> on then, the phone with phone. Kenzie, and I look out the window, and Steven's like, hi. And then you never ate, so I didn't even get to eat my Taco Bell. Your priority, you should eat. Eat and drink a lot of water. I do need to drink a lot of water. I don't think I could eat right now. Because you're also so... probably going to have to get blood work today and the next day. Yep. 
The exciting part is we get to meet this baby soon. <laughs> I just hope ah! everything's okay with her. I think everything's okay. And you're going for testing in literally an hour. Yep. And then we can cry about it after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mid phone, Sierra's talking to her mom, like going through all the stuff that need to, we need to figure out. And she's like, what about Easter? I was like, who gives a shit about Easter? <laughs> I have all this stuff for Grace's nest. Like, <laughs> what if I'm still in the hospital? You tell, you tell Grace, Easter is in two weeks and she will not know the difference. She'll be like, yay, Easter. <laughs> We focus on the things that actually matter. And that's what I'm gonna do when I tell work that I'm out of here. <laughs> I gotta wrap up some loose ends. I know you have to wrap up some loose ends. Yeah. I just still really wanna have that like special time with Grace. Cause like I had all these plans of like the fun special stuff I wanted to do leading up to like the last few days with yeah. her. Bye. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, saw the coleostasis leaning results over the weekend. Decided to uh, dedicate a good chunk of our weekend to getting done the last few baby things, and I am so glad that we did because we're really like we're really ready. Pretty much everything is done and ready. I, I had some little things like I want to organize my little breastfeeding cart, and I think Stephen wanted to like replace the air filters in the house. We had this running checklist that we've been uh, slowly working at the past really like the past month or so, and all the big things are done we got so much done this weekend yeah then this morning i called my doctor's office as soon as they opened and they said that she would get back to me later today and uh that just so happened to be while i was in the taco bell drive through and then before i knew it i was crying in the parking lot with my uneaten taco bell and my husband in the passenger seat <sighs> Thank God I share my location with Steven because when I looked out that window and I saw him there, I was like, oh, just so, so happy to, to see him and going through all of this together. So I think I'm gonna go shower before this non-stress test. Trying to like mentally prioritize what needs to be done. But the reality is, like I said, like the big, the, the big important things are done. So I think even though there are work things that I could do and a breastfeeding card I could organize, my time would probably be best spent right now. <sighs> just taking a second and breathing and taking a shower. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a baby in three days. Wow. All right, I'm showered. I'm feeling better. I'm drinking water. Still don't really have much of an appetite, but I think I'm just gonna drink a protein shake before I go. I'm gonna head out in a little bit here. And I figured before I do, I'll kind of show you guys all of the baby prep that we did over the weekend, where everything is at. Cause like I said, I, I feel like we, we really are, we're pretty ready. And at the end of the day, really all you need for the baby is a safe place to sleep and some diapers and some clothes. We have all that, we're good. I feel like we got the house to a good point. So here's where we're at. I had mentioned this in my previous vlog, but I uh, redid this organizer to be kind of like overflow baby and nursing stuff. Since this dresser is a little bit on the smaller side, but pretty much everything fits in here. You know, we've got all the clothes the diapers, the wipes. So over here, this is gonna be her laundry basket. We've got hats and little headbands, socks, burp cloths, breast pads, and then in this top one, just like little lotion, aquaphor, hairbrush. And the shelf is like, prime real estate at first i was like i should use all of this space for functionality but i really like having my vision board for the year up there looking out at me um kenzie jaden and i made these at the beginning of the year and i really like looking at it and then i've got my little plant my candle so this is all good to go and then over here i reorganized my bedside table the drawers and everything and then out in the living room this was a huge thing that i felt like i needed to feel ready for the baby. This is the electric recliner chair that we got after my C-section with Grace so that it was easier for me to get in and out of it. It was a great spot for breastfeeding. I'll get it in full comf mode. <laughs> Since I stopped breastfeeding, we moved it up to Steven's office and it became his gaming chair. So we wanted to get this back down here before the baby came. And uh, yesterday, my brother and my sister-in-law and their baby came over. And so Steven was able to get it downstairs with their help because it is really heavy. Honestly, I feel like having this chair here 
It's probably the biggest thing that makes me feel ready. So I'm so glad that we did that. It also has storage in the armrest that I'm going to stuff full with snacks for breastfeeding. And then next to it is my breastfeeding cart, which is not yet organized, but I've been kind of like putting things here as we go. So maybe this is something I can try to do tomorrow. And then what's nice is it's on wheels. So I can bring it into the bedroom at night. I can bring it into Grace's nursery if I'm breastfeeding in there. And then over here in this pantry behind the fridge, we have the bottles and pump parts, which, oh, and pacifiers, which we boiled to sterilize this weekend. So those are good to go. Then I just did like a little light organization of Grace's stuff, her snacks and everything, so that we've got a clean slate and not quite so much clutter. And then in here, we have a bunch of the baby stuff that Steven washed the covers for to prep. So the bassinet, he like cleaned off the stand and everything the, what was this called? The Mamaru, the bouncer, and the car seat. So once we get all of the cleaned fabric back in there, that will be good to go. And this is actually the bouncer fabric right here that's all dry now. So these things are in various stages of ready. And then also this dining room table for the past couple weeks had just been kind of like a landing zone of all the baby stuff that needed to be washed or cleaned or organized or put away. So even just getting to a clear table was a big undertaking. Lots of empty bins now as well. And then in Grace's room, we did a, a declutter and clean out. I still wanna get to these shelves. That was like the one thing we didn't really do. Like we got rid of a lot of stuff, but there's still a lot of unnecessary clutter up here. And I'd kind of like to have a clean slate if we can find the time in the next three days now. <laughs> um, but then also we got a little basket of baby toys in here for a uh, little baby sis to play with when we're all in here. And Grace had a lot of fun going through these with me and deciding which ones that she thinks she'd like. And we also made a basket like this for the living room. That is where we are at. Honestly, now that like the initial shock of everything has kind of settled in, I feel okay about this. I'm still worried about just her safety and everything, if she's okay, but logistics wise, we're totally good, pretty much ready. Um, and I called and canceled all of my appointments for the next couple weeks. Cause like, since I had the scheduled C-section, I was like, oh, I'll schedule a haircut for two weeks before, nail appointment for the week before. I was gonna get my eyelashes done. I was gonna go to the head spa again. Cause we had tried one for a video and it was like such a great relaxing experience. And I was like, that'd be a fun way to like center myself before the baby comes. So canceled all the appointments. We're good on that. Um, I'm gonna head out to the appointment. I'm not, I'm not sure if I should bring my, like, should I just put my hospital bag in the car? Because if there are any red flags at this appointment, they're going to send me like straight to labor and delivery. But I guess Steven would have to come from the house anyways. So he could just bring my bag. And I, I've already texted him like my last minute ads list of like my phone charger and my Kindle and my deodorant and things that I was going to put in the bag like right before we go. So I think I don't, I, I think I'm just going to leave it here, but it is packed. <laughs> All right. Taking my hair down, grabbing my Stanley cup and heading for the non-stress test. Okay, I don't really have time to talk because I don't wanna be late for my appointment. It took me forever to find parking, but on the way here, they called me and said my C-section is gonna be on Wednesday instead of Thursday because of availability in the OR. So it's like 40 hours away. So I'm at my non-stress test or NST. Got these bands monitoring baby from my belly. And then they give me this little button and I press it whenever I feel her move. And they monitor me for like, I think it's like 45 minutes. I think I've been here for like 20. So I'm just chilling, drinking some water, hoping that everything is good. I had an appointment with my doctor right before this too. Um, and one of the things that we went over was that, you know, they usually recommend a steroid shot for an early delivery like between 34 and 37 weeks because it can help with their lung development and breathing on their own when they're early like that um but that i was like right on the cusp because i'm going to be delivering at 37 weeks so she left it up to me and i was like you know i hate shots but if there's even a tiny chance it could help the baby we should do it so i got that shot in my arm i was gonna show my band-aid but it's covered in my other hand oh movement is busy <laughs> Oh, she's moving a lot right now. Got that done. It really freaking hurt. Like I know I'm about to get cut open in two days, but that 
hurt. She's moving a lot, so that's a good sign. But they said it is, you know, a very painful injection. And uh, I, my experience stands by that. It stung my arm so bad for like 10 minutes, but now it's fine. Um, I do have to come back for another one tomorrow. But as long as everything looks good with the NST, I, I won't do another one tomorrow. And we'll just go forward with the delivery for now, Wednesday. <sighs> Okay, back home from the NST, um, everything looked good. I did end up having to be monitored for some extra time. I think it ended up being like an hour and 20 minutes just because baby's movement was kind of sporadic. Like she wasn't really moving much at the beginning and then the movement really picked up. So they just wanted to make sure they had a solid baseline and uh, monitor her for a little bit longer. But in the end, they said everything looked good, that I was good to go home and uh, get things in order for this C-section in less than two days. <laughs> Kenzie's gonna come over in a little bit and keep me company. We're talking about maybe going to Target. We're planning on doing that later this week to get like the last Easter stuff for our kids. Um, but I think since she's coming over today, I was like, you know what, we, let's just go do that. Plus I was like a, a little outing to Target sounds nice. And I feel like I should get some, like a box of newborn diapers. It's so, like my brother and sister-in-law gave us some extra from their son um, when he moved up to the next size. And we were like, well, this baby's probably gonna be big. We probably don't need a lot of newborn diapers. Let's not buy anymore. And now uh, this baby's gonna be born at 37 weeks. So probably going to be in newborn diapers for longer. Um, and just, you know, as something to do, not like I don't have a ton of things I could do here, but just having some time with Kenzie going to Target. Also like, you know, I know it seems silly, but to get the last Easter stuff for Grace, I, I want, she's been so excited talking about Easter. I still want it to be like special for her and to have everything in order. Um, and I already have a couple things for her, but you know, just get some candy and the little eggs so we can do an egg hunt. Um, also, Grace has been with her nanny today because today was supposed to be a work day for me. Um, and they went to Legoland this morning before all of the chaos ensued. And on one hand, that's been like really great, I think, for her to just be out of the house having a fun time while Steven and I are like chickens running around with our heads cut off. <laughs> but also like, I miss her so much and I just wanna snuggle her up and soak in these, these last moments with her before the baby comes because I thought I was gonna have a lot more time. But I think tomorrow we're gonna, we're gonna get to have a lot of really great family time and probably still a little bit of scrambling. I'm, I'm gonna try and like wrap up some last work things tonight before before we go to bed. Um, but I really want tomorrow to be as much time I can have with Grace as possible, as much family time we can have the three of us because we are about to be a family of four. A family of four. That's what that is coming up quicker than we thought. I organized my nursing bras. <laughs> That was one more thing I needed to do. I got my pumping bras, my nursing bras, easy access in this little bin, but it won't look so cluttered. Figured out like the ins and outs of uh, the childcare plan for Grace. It's been a, a crazy day, but I, I feel like I'm in a, a fairly good headspace, all things considered. <sighs> okay, that's all. <laughs> you ready to be an aunt again? I'm so <laughs> but like, so sorry for the circumstances, <laughs> but. Also, hey baby. <laughs> I haven't really allowed myself to think about the fact that like, it is kind of exciting. All right. <gasps> Hillary Duff. Earth the sun. Back to when I didn't have coleostasis. <laughs> All right. This song is such a bop. Let the rain fall down. I'm gonna get a haka. That was another thing on my list to get. Do they even sell those here? Hey, I hope so. <laughs> Two-day shipping isn't enough for me, Kenzie. <laughs> Hooray! What's the flower? It's just a stalker. Oh, it's like you know when it tips over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Hi. Bottle soap. Let's do Easter stuff. Some little pink peep bunnies for Grace. All the Easter things are gonna be for Grace, but. These I know she's gonna love. Reese's eggs, an essential. Well, if they're buy one, get one 50% off. I guess, guess I should get two. A little Easter treat for myself. Nice picks, nice picks. Some candy to go in the eggs. A little breastfeeding snack for me. More snacks for me. Wasn't even something I was planning on getting, but I feel like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Little easy snack access in my breastfeeding cart. Or ooh, in the side of my chair. <laughs> 
will be clutch. New coloring book for Grace's Easter nest. And last Easter thing for Grace, cute little princess pajama nightgown. I know she's gonna be so excited about this. We're really having a baby. Yeah, and it's actually In happening. Five seconds. <laughs> We're headed to the checkout. Um, I did get one little impulse buy for baby girl. We'll say this is what this is what she's getting for Easter. We don't have all that much in newborn sizing and I thought this was so cute and like a two piece set like this is nice before the umbilical cord stump falls off. Kenzie talked me into it, I blame her. <laughs> that was therapeutic. That was fun. I that needed was nice. that. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Us just cracking jokes like you're not having a baby freaking tomorrow. <laughs> this is the time to crack jokes. I need jokes. Went from crying in Taco Bell <laughs> to singing Hillary Duff and Target all in one day. Oh yeah, all in like six hours. Yeah. We're going back to my house. Grace is back now and I just want to snuggle her. Finish the baby prep. <laughs> yep, that too. That too. All right, it is a little after 6.30. I have a pot of boiling water going for the haka. My brother and sister-in-law and nephew came over and brought us Indian food for dinner, which uh, if you've seen the other vlogs through this pregnancy has been like my top craving. So having it one last time. Kenzie and I just uh, put together the breastfeeding cart, organized all of that. So we've got blanket, breast massage, Massager, nipple cream, breast pads, burp cloths. Then down here, my snack stash, diapers and wipes, and uh, pump stuff down here. So this is all ready. We also shoved the chair arms full of snacks. Grace is very excited about uh, baby sis coming early. As soon as my brother got here, she goes, Uncle Jojo, did you know in two night nights, baby sis will be here? And in five nights, it's Easter, she says. <laughs> There she goes. Oh, there she is. Watching Grace with my nephew is my favorite thing in the world. And I can't believe she's going to be sitting on that couch holding this baby in uh, not too long. An essential, I almost forgot, claw clip for when I need to keep my shirt up. And scrunchies to pull my hair back while I'm breastfeeding. And we are good to go. Got Grace's bag packed for my parents' house. She's going to be staying there while we're at the hospital. about 9 p.m. on Tuesday, which means in just about 12 hours, I am gonna be heading in for my C-section. I'm gonna have this baby. And I feel like I'm in such a better headspace about it today. Today was just like such a perfect day. I feel like it was exactly what I needed, what I wanted to feel like really centered going into tomorrow and just soak in all of uh, this last time with Grace as an only child. And it was just a perfect day. Like we went to the park, we played, went to the beach for sunset and then went out to eat after and found time for like the last bits and pieces of things that we needed to wrap up. Finished work, I got my shot, straightened my hair as you can see. Like tomorrow is, is definitely sooner than we expected but all things considered I feel feel good about it. I feel ready. Oh, and I'm just so glad that we were able to have like kind of honestly like a weirdly normal day today. Hi. Uh, hi. You ready for this? 
I am, man, the camera's so short. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had it as a frame for one. There you are. I am uh, about as ready as a guy could get. I, I, I'm clean shaven. Are we all buttery smooth for a little baby girl? <laughs> Today was just a great day in general. We both kept getting emotional in little pockets. Oh, I got emotional in a lot of pockets. I think it's like, at least for me, partially like, you know, a little bit of fear and stress about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, like a big chunk of it too is just like scared for how things are gonna change. Like the past like three years has been so amazing. Yeah, Being but... like a family of three, especially I feel like the past year, we've, we've just had so much fun. Like I just love being a parent so much. I love doing yeah. it with you. I love Grace so much and I feel like so proud of who she is. Yeah, it gives me so much confidence going to the number two. Yeah. Like, it's like that blind confidence. I feel like I've already said this at some point, but I'm confident we can figure it out. I'm very excited to give her a sibling, so. Yeah. And Grace has been just like so amazing through all of this, like today. <laughs> She's, so she, completely understands I know. in like, every way what's about to happen. Way more than I thought she would. Even like, I came back from the doctor and she's like, mommy, you got a shot for baby? You're, that's so brave, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she's very excited that tomorrow's the baby's birthday. She's been talking about that a lot. It's interesting, I mean, even just like in general in life, like, sorry, Bridger is begging. Do you wanna come up? I picked her up because she wanted she wanted me to hold her. Yeah, is that crazy? Bruiser wanted to say hello. Bruiser's like, um, excuse me, ma'am. You said family of four, but we already have family of five. Today. <laughs> and she's back to the Barbie camper. <laughs> back to the Barbie camper. <laughs> well, and it's crazy looking at Grace being like, oh, and all this started with just a little newborn blob. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to compare, yeah. like going straight in just into the OR this time versus like going through 60 hours of labor. <laughs> yeah, of like uncertainty and fear and figuring it all out. Speaking of the reality, <laughs> I have a two year old calling me. Do you want us to come play Barbies with you? Yeah. Okay, we'll come play Barbies with you. Let's do it. So, One last bump shot. I remember we did this before last time we went. We did, we did. I was about to do this to even bolt it in here. <laughs> See you soon, baby girl. Yeah. I don't know. See you soon. I don't know how, but we're gonna see you soon, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on this journey with us. And next time I see you, I don't know when that will be, but I will have a baby. Wow. <laughs> Bye.